So distance is defined or equal to the total length of travel. What does that mean, the total length of travel? If you start from here, I don't have to keep unplugging them. If you start from here and you traveled from STCC here to Western New England University Winnow, which is about what, four miles? Maybe not even four miles from here. Then from there you decide to go to Eastfield Mall. And which is what, how far the Eastfield Mall from here? From Winnick, maybe another five miles? What is the total distance travel? What's your distance here? The distance is, it says the total length of travel. Well, how far did you travel? You traveled the four miles plus the five miles, which is what? Nine miles. Or, if you start from STCC and you travel all the way to Southwick, Mass., Southwick is probably, what, 15 miles from here? And once you get to Southwick, you did whatever you had to do, then you travel back to Agawam. From Southwick to Agawam, let's say it's about eight miles. What is the distance traveled? Your distance is add all these distances, which is the 15 miles plus the eight miles you traveled 23 miles. So that's the definition of distance. It's the total length of travel. You add all the pieces together. Displacement, on the other hand, is different. It's change in position. So displacement equals change in position. Now that change in, that's too much writing for us. So we use actually delta. Delta here means change. That little triangle called delta. Delta X, which means what? The final position minus the initial position. That's what displacement is. That's what delta X or displacement. So delta x is going to be the final position, that's x final, minus the initial one, x initial. Don't be surprised if you see me write x final minus x of o. A lot of times we use o for initial, like the zero time, basically. So xi or xo is the same thing. Let's go back to the previous examples that we did here. The first one we did, you started from STCC from here. You travel four miles to Winnow. And from there, you traveled five miles to Eastfield Mall. So what is the change or the displacement, the change in x? 
it is your final position minus your initial position. This is your initial position. Let's mark it the zero mark here. This is your final position. How far this point from this point? Nine miles, right? So it's going to be nine minus the zero, which is nine miles. Notice displacement and distance in this example are the same. In the other example, you started from STCC, and this is the zero marker. You went all the way to Southwick, right here, which is 15 miles. Then you came back to Aguam, which we said well, was what, eight miles? So what is your displacement here? Where is this in relation to this? It is your final position minus your initial position. Right now, you are this house. How far is this house from this point? Seven, Seven miles. We don't care how you zigzag there. We're saying, where are you? Like if you were to measure that distance from here to there, that's only seven miles. The whole thing is 15. If this is eight, this has to be seven. So notice your displacement here, it's not the same as distance. People will use that interchangeably. They go displacement, distance, always the same thing. Well, they're not really the same. The only time they're the same when you travel like this, straight line. But when you start going back and forth, the two things are not the same. Another example, displacement and distance might be different. Again, we did that yesterday. We said you have a track of 100 yard long. It's a field here by 80 field, I mean 80 yards wide. And you have half a circle on this end and half a circle on that end. If you start from here, If you start from that spot and we do let's say we do five and a half labs. What does that mean five and a half labs? You start from here, you went all the way around once, another time, twice another time, three times, four times, five times, and where is the sixth one? You stopped right here, right? That's where you ended. That's when you quit. You went five times around this, and on the sixth time, you stopped right here. What is the distance traveled? What's that distance? Well, you did five labs or five and a half. So it's 5.5, .5, that's five and a half times each lab. What is each lab equal to? Isn't that 5.5 .5 times? When you do one lap around this, the distance travels the 100 plus the 100 plus what? Half a circle on this end, half a circle on that end. That's the circumference we said last time, pi times d. 
that's 5.5 times 200 plus pi is what? 3.14 times D, which is 80. So this is what one lab is equal to in terms of yardage here. 5.5 times, and here's my calculator there. 3.14 times 80. Oh, got to turn on first. 3.14 times 80 plus 200 is 451.2 yards. So you multiply it by 5.5. It is 2,481.6 yards. Now, if I want to use significant digits, this number is how many significant digits? How about a one? There's no dot here. The zeros don't count unless there's a dot at the end. That's a one significant digit. This is one significant digit. Your answer should be one significant digit. So if you want to write this as significant digit, your answer should be what? 2,000. Now, what about the displacement? The displacement is what is the distance, this distance. If you were to measure that, we don't care how many times you went around there. But if you measure that distance, that's your delta x. What is the distance from here to there? It's your final position minus your initial position. It's this minus that one. That's the dis displacement right there, that line. And if you were to calculate that, the only way you can find the answer to that is by using geometry. Remember which rule is that? Pythagorean. Yep, Pythagorean's theorem. Very good. It says what? Pythagorean theorem says c squared equals what? a squared plus b squared, which means c will be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So my displacement, which is really c here, it is the square root of this distance squared plus that distance squared. And that's the square root of 6,500, which is 80.6. And if I'm using one significant digit, that would be what? 80, up oh, 80 yard. If you round, it's 81, but if you're using one significant digit, it's 80 yards. So this position from that one doesn't seem right, huh? That should be more than that should be more than square root. Should be more than a hundred. I'm horrible with calculators, by the way. Sixty-five oh, square root of sixty-five hundred. Hmm. What is eighty squared plus one hundred squared? Oh, 80 squared plus 100 squared. I added wrong there. It's 16,400. I know something didn't add up right. 16,400. It has to be more than 100. It can't be under 100. It has to be bigger than the longest side. So that's 16,400. And if you take the square root of that, 128. So if you want to use one significant digit, this will be what? 
100. Because that number is less than 5. You drop it. What they might do for a problem like this to make sure you're not that much off, maybe they'll put, they'll make that 100 point, and this is 80.0, which make it three significant digits, and you have better answers. You know. But with the numbers, I wrote them down, that should be 100, and that should be 2,000. So there's a difference between displacement versus distance. Does it make sense? Are we good with that one?